That doesn't seem fair to me. Unmarried couples living together now isn't a big deal like it was 200 years ago. But the question is whether it's right to condemn Lydia's entire family for her behavior. That seems really wrong to me, but again, times have changed. The characters in the novel, as well as the author, just seem to accept it. <laughs> They're a real mismatch. Maybe two? I'll give them a six, but only because a couple of their daughters turned out well. A solid one. I'll give them a five. They're a good match in terms of temperament, but neither really adds anything to the other like Elizabeth and Darcy do. Well, they are well suited, but it's just because they're so boring. I'd give them a three. Ten, of course. I mean, it's Elizabeth and Darcy. Ten. They're a great couple because each makes the other a better person. I'm not a fan of the dynamic between Elizabeth and Darcy. It annoys me that he's in the position to save her future and family's reputation with his money. So it's an uneven relationship. I'd give it a one. The novel pokes fun at the hyper-status consciousness of the society but ultimately it's actually pretty supportive of it. Jane Austen was pretty forward looking for a time, but it's not like she was advocating for the overthrow of the social order. Shakespeare, lots of Shakespeare. I'm reading plays that I've never read before, like I made Summer Night's Dream, but I'm also rereading some plays that I've read in the past. The thing this time though, is that I'm doing the no fear translations of this place and that is, a lot easier to understand because they have the side-by-side -side translations.